Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us here today to talk about cloud hosting for your Sage business environment and to discuss how cloud solutions are more cost effective and help our customers optimize their infrastructure lifecycle. Just so you know, the webinar today is being recorded and you will receive a copy of the presentation, so there's no need to frantically scribble down any notes. So today we only have 30 minutes with you, so we'll try to be as concise as possible. We'll be introducing CompuTrack and Kartika, and we'll pass it over to Mark to then speak to CompuTrack's experience putting Sage 300 into the Kartika cloud hosting environment. This will be followed by Pavel at Kartika discussing what is cloud and how it can impact the bottom line. He'll also discuss how cloud and Kartika is different. Finally, Matt will explain some key reasons why cloud is a good option for your business and also tell you about a special offer for all of those who are attending today. We will wrap up with any questions you may have. So most of you know who we are. In business since 1987, CompuTrack is a premier Sage business partner specializing in the implementation of Sage 300, formerly called ACPAC. We also offer fully integration solutions for sales, HR, EDI, and much more. Our mission is to be a trusted resource, enabling organizations to reach their full potential through technology. Today on the line, we have Mark Hotz, our president and lead consultant, as well as myself, Stefan Southwell, the director of client services. Today, I am happy to, to introduce to you all Pavel Marayev and Matt Chenafrani from Kartika, and I will let Pavel introduce Matt and himself and give you some background on Kartika. Pavel? Thank you, Stefan. Uh, good day, everybody. Uh, my name is Pavel. I am a sales manager in Kartika, and I would like to give you a very brief high-level overview of um, who Kartika is and what we do. Uh, the company was founded sometime around 2000, which would be about 16 years ago. And we started as a, a very simple reseller of uh, hosting uh, for other companies. Gradually, what we discovered that uh, the level of service that was offered to us by other hosting companies was not adequate for our customers. And we decided to add more services and increase our footprint and uh, uh, improve our performance and deliver more services to our customers. And we gradually grew our business uh, to be a robust end-to-end -end infrastructure delivery and management company. We do have presence in uh, two countries right now. That's United States and Canada um, in two data centers, one in Dallas, Texas, and one in Toronto. We are a very well-recognized name in the hosting um, and <clears throat> internet community. In fact, if you look up our name, it will be uh, recognized by a lot of customers, and we have a solid history of... Uh, perfect performance, and solid SLA delivery. Um, that's pretty much it. Next slide. Good day, everyone. Uh, this is Mark from CompuTrack, and I wanted to briefly describe our experience with Sage in the Kartika hosting environment. Uh, when we were first approached by Kartika to put Sage in the cloud, I was skeptical. I was concerned about where the data was and how I would access it, would it be as easy to connect to a server in the cloud as it would be to connect to our on-premise hardware? What would the data, would the data be secure? What would the cost be, et cetera, et cetera? So we installed all Sage ERP applications as well as a 100 gigabyte Sage ERP data set on a server that has minimal resources. By that I mean four gigs of RAM and a single processor, basically half the resources recommended by Sage. We perform the same installation process that we would for any of our clients. That is downloading and installing all the software from the Sage website, creating the SQL databases, and loading up a large 100 gigabyte data set. We then conducted several tests to assess performance, including processing several test transactions and generating some large reports, such as inventory valuations and aged receivables. Uh, frankly, I was very surprised at the responsiveness and overall speed of the application given the limited hardware resource. The look and feel of the cloud environment was exactly what you would expect from an on-premise server. 
there was absolutely not third party applications or our in house customization. In fact, it's the same operating system running the same applications that you are used to without having to maintain a physical box on site. And that was our primary motivation for moving our entire office into the cloud to allay ourselves of the related security issues of on premise hardware. And by security, I don't just mean from outside intrusions such as hackers, but also from a physical break in and theft of our equipment. From a support perspective, we really like the Cardica cloud environment because with client authorization, we are guaranteed easy round the clock access to your stage applications. Secondly, deployment is simplified because there is no requirement to install any programs on local workstations. The stage application and data can be maintained entirely within the cloud environment. Another benefit of the Cardica solution is that their stringent security procedures guarantees the continuous backup and, if necessary, the prompt restoration of your stage data. I can cite several instances where a client has had to restore data only to discover that their IT support was not backing up their on-site stage server, thus putting their entire business in jeopardy. Finally, I want to make clear that Sage fully supports and certifies its software for the cloud environment. We at CompuTrack are excited about Sage in the cloud and we fully endorse Cardica as our per preferred cloud solution provider. Pavel, back to you. Thank you very much, Mark. So just a quick reminder that today the purpose of our seminar is uh, describe cloud on a very high level. We're not going into technical details. There's going to be a separate seminar for that. However, uh, people are very confused these days with cloud this and cloud that, and we felt that it would probably be necessary to uh, run over, over some of the basic definitions of what cloud is and what it actually does for you. Specifically for our today's seminar, I wanted to show you the old model versus the new model. The old model is uh, the old school where you're buying your hardware, you keep it in the house, and basically you carry all of the costs associated with this hardware. So that would be procuring the hardware, installation, support, maintenance, and also important things that are known as hardware lifecycle management and capacity planning. The lifecycle management basically means that uh, every three to five years, depends on what the requirements of your organization are, you have to refresh your hardware and you have to kind of keep an eye on uh, getting the latest and the greatest in, in your environment. And capacity planning is also a very important factor which uh, address, is being addressed by the cloud resources management very well. Specifically, uh, let's say we, we all know that when we're procuring a server, we're not buying 100% of what we need. We're probably buying with over-provisioning where we're only using about 70% and 30% is left for growth or unexpected performance spikes. And obviously, if you make a mistake in capacity planning, you have to buy a new server, which is another investment, another uh, bunch of costs associated with that. Now, let's look at the cloud uh, model, or as I call it, a new model. So now we're moving away from the fixed cost to variable cost because basically we're procuring our compute needs as a service or on demand. Uh, that could be loosely associated, associated with the term leasing. Now you're only paying for what you're using in real time. The advantage of the new model is it's, it's scalable and it's on demand. You only pay for what, what you need. Support and management is also delivered on demand because in the old school, it has to be constantly present. In the new school, you, you procure management and support uh, based on, on the requirements of your business. And what's really important, the last few issues in the old uh, model, now the, you're, you're always getting the latest hardware platform. It's been taking care of your provider, which would be Cardica. And um, capacity planning is completely eliminated because cloud gives you resources on demand uh, which you can scale up and down in real time. And uh, there are a lot of other services that we're providing on top of just the hardware. That could be backup as a service, webmail, and other things. And the beauty of all of this, it, it's all done through consolidated billing. So basically, you're doing with one provider or one vendor, if you wish. Um, it's one bill for everything. The greatest thing about all of this, uh, 
there's no contract and there's no commitment. You're basically paying for what you're using, and if you don't need it, you 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 discontinue your contract and you walk away. That's the beauty of the cloud. Next slide, please. Now, if I were to simplify what I've just described even more, uh, let's just imagine an old school radio. That's a device that's been around over 100 years, and uh, it, it carries very basic functionality. It has a dial for volume up and down, and it has a tuner which moves left or right and allows you to choose the wave or the station uh, that you would like to listen to. That would be a very good example of how the cloud works. Let's say if you need more volume, you just turn it up. If you don't need volume, you turn it off in, and you're not using your device. If you, want, if you would like to change the station or you would like to change the tune because you, you need to do something else, you just move it left or right and it's all done in real time. And this is exactly what cloud would give you um, in, in, in this scenario. You scale your resources up or down in real time or increase or decrease your footprint. Uh, now, Cardica as a cloud provider uh, does a whole lot of other things, not just virtual environment. We're providing other things like backups, disaster recovery in the cloud, support and management, managed services as I have described, mail hosting, antivirus, and many other things uh, which we're not covering in this particular seminar, but if you're interested, we'd be more than happy to uh, answer all of your questions regarding those services. Thank you very much. Next slide. Uh, before the next slide, I would like to introduce Matt Chanfarani, who is our manager of operations at Cardica, who is uh, responsible for making sure that all of our infrastructure works and runs smoothly for you, our customers. Matt, over to you. Thank you, Pavel. When asked why a business should care about moving to the cloud, the answer is extremely simple. If you're looking, taking a look at the infographic to my right here, 65% over the next year of enterprise IT organizations will commit to hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud allows businesses to supplement existing IT infrastructure with cloud-based services such as a hosted ERP solution, cloud-based email, and managed backup solutions. There will be an 11% shift in IT budget from in-house to cloud delivery, meaning that those infrastructure dollars that are currently being spent on hardware that sits in a server closet and decreases in value are being redirected to a subscription-based model. The trends for moving to cloud are already established. Common applications that we use every single day are making the shift to cloud-based technologies. For example, Spotify, a music streaming service, announced just last week that it was vacating its own data centers and moving 100% into the cloud. Lastly, a research firm, IDC, announced that the public cloud market will rise from $70 billion in 2015 to $141 billion in 2019. That growth is six times more than the current growth of traditional in-house hardware IT spending. Next slide, please. So, as a thank you for coming out to this webinar today, we have a special offer for attendees. We'd like to extend an olive branch here and give everyone that's attended a 30-day free trial of the Cardica Cloud. We're going to give you a fully loaded Windows Cloud server. We're going to throw in our award-winning 24-7 phone, email, and live chat support. And we're going to give you a dedicated onboarding specialist to make sure that your migration into the cloud is as seamless as absolutely possible. And of course, I'm going to pass this right back to CompuTrack now to describe what they're going to be offering as well. Right. So the it will also come loaded with a Sage 300 sample data set. So this data set will include anything you need to run um, basic transactions through any of the modules, run some reports, um, just so you can see how the environment would work with your Sage 300 data. Uh, as usual, you can reach out to Mark or myself if you need any assistance with that. So here is our contact information. Uh, feel free to contact Pavel or myself if you have any questions about what was presented today or you would like to sign up for the free 30-day trial. Um, we'd like to also remind you that we are going to be having a deep dive into the cloud hosting infrastructure next Thursday, March 3rd at 1 p.m. 
Uh, the session will be geared more towards IT professionals. So feel free to forward that onto them and they can use the same registration link as, the, as you did for this webinar. Just use the drop down to select the March 3rd session. Um, so at this time, we would like to open up the lines for anyone with questions. So feel free to unmute yourself and ask away. You can also type your questions into the chat. We do have one question in the chat from earlier in the presentation. Um, this question looks like it's geared towards Matt. So, so the question is, does Kartika guarantee uptime? Absolutely. Thanks so much for the question. So when you're looking at guarantees, this has, does fall under what's called our SLA, or service level agreement. Kartika does have a 100% network and power uptime guarantee. So that means that unscheduled network outages of any nature will make customers eligible for service credit valued at one day of service for every five minutes of unscheduled network or power outage accrued during a calendar month. So we're putting the money behind our words here. We'll make sure that you do stay online. Great. Thank you so much. Again, any other questions, feel free to unmute yourself or type them in the chat. Well, it doesn't look like we have any questions, but again, feel free to contact Pavel or myself if anything does come to mind. So I guess we finished a little early. Um, I'll give you back a few minutes in your day. Um, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us. Thank you to Kartika for joining us in the presentation. And everybody have a great day. Thank you. Have a great day too.